This video in the Setup Checklist series will walk you through adding taxes to your property. You will need to set up each tax that you are required to charge a guest, regardless of whether or not the channel may be collecting and remitting on your behalf. Contact your local taxing authority or state province Department of Revenue to find out the exact percentage required to collect. It is important to configure each taxing authority separately. For example, create one 7% state tax and a separate 3% city tax. Don't create one combined 10% city and state tax. If you combine them, you won't be able to separately apply criteria to them like whenever different channels remit the tax. Even if both taxes are treated the same now, this may change in the future. The simplest scenario is creating a tax remitted for all bookings regardless of channel. To do this, go to Settings, then click on Taxes in the Pricing section. From the Taxes page, click the Create a Tax button and begin entering your information. In the Description field, enter a description that will help identify the tax you will be creating, something like California Sales Tax. For the Rate field, enter whether or not this is a percent, a fixed amount based on night or stay, or based on guest, or based on night and guest. If the tax rate changes in the middle of the stay, you can click on the Add Effective Date button and select the date and rate change here. For channels, you can leave the defaults Book Date set to In the Beginning and Applicability set to All. This means that you will be remitting this tax regardless of the channel the booking came from. In Criteria, you can select which properties this tax applies to, the max nights it applies to, and an end date. For the Registration section, if you are intending for Airbnb to collect this tax on your behalf, this entire section is required to be completed. If you don't, Airbnb will ignore that tax. If you are not using Airbnb or you don't need special Airbnb configuration for this tax, then this section is not used programmatically, although it may be a convenient place for you to store the information regarding your various tax accounts. For options, you can enter a value that gives you control over how the tax line items are ordered in the charges grid. Items are ordered by position value in ascending numeric order, followed by items with no position set. Items with the same position are ordered alphabetically by description. Hit the green Save button when you are done completing the section and you've successfully created a tax remitted for all bookings regardless of channel. There are several different scenarios for taxes. Here are some common ones. Tax remitted for direct bookings but not Airbnb or Verbo. If Airbnb and Verbo, or any other channels, are remitting the tax in your area, set the applicability setting in the channel section to everything but the channels that remit the tax. Tax remitted for direct bookings and Verbo, but not Airbnb. If you're remitting taxes for direct bookings and Verbo bookings, but not Airbnb bookings, set the applicability setting in the channel section to everything but Airbnb. Changing channels that a tax is collected for. If the tax applicability per channel changes over time, you can set effective dates with different applicability settings in the Channel section. Changing tax rates. If tax rates change over time, you can add a new effective date and rate in the Rate section. For Airbnb, they don't have applicable criteria, so the tax will update on their site when the effective date is reached. Once you've configured all your taxes, you will want to closely watch your bookings from all channels to make sure things look right and to consistently remit the taxes to the proper authorities per their required schedule. Please continue to our next video in the setup checklist, Travel Insurance. Thanks for choosing OwnerRest.